Welcome to my video subscribe now. The rain fell softly against the windows of the small research station, creating a gentle rhythm that had become as familiar as breathing to Dr. Elena Matthews. She sat alone in the dimly lit laboratory, surrounded by screens displaying data that refused to make sense. Outside, the Antarctic night pressed against the glass, dark and endless. Elena had been at Austral Station 2553 for six months now. Six months of ice and isolation. Six months of searching for answers that seemed to drift further away with each passing day. The station was small, home to only 12 researchers, but tonight it felt even smaller. Most of her colleagues had retired to their quarters hours ago, seeking warmth and rest. But Elena could not rest. Not yet. She wrapped her hands around a mug of tea that had long gone cold. Her eyes burned from staring at the computer screen, but she could not look away. The numbers told a story, but it was a story she did not want to believe. For months, she had been studying the ice cores extracted from deep beneath the station. Ancient ice, holding secrets from thousands of years ago. The official mission was to study climate patterns, to understand how the Earth had changed over millennia. But what Elena had found was something else entirely. At first, she thought it was a mistake. An error in the data collection. The ice samples showed anomalies that should not exist. Patterns that could not be explained by natural processes alone. She had checked her work a hundred times. She had run the tests again and again. But the results remained the same, stubborn and undeniable. The problem began three weeks ago when Elena noticed something unusual in the crystalline structure of a particularly deep ice sample. Under the microscope, she saw formations that looked almost deliberate. Almost designed. She told herself she was seeing things, that the long polar night was playing tricks on her mind. But the more she looked, the more certain she became. There were markings. Tiny, geometric patterns embedded within the ice itself. They were so small that they could only be seen at the highest magnification. And they repeated, the same sequence, over and over, like a message written in a language no one could read. Elena stood and walked to the window. The darkness outside was absolute. No stars, no moon, just the occasional glimpse of the research lights reflecting off the snow. She pressed her forehead against the cold glass and closed her eyes. What was she supposed to do with this discovery? Who would believe her? She thought of her mentor, Professor Richard Chen, who had recommended her for this position. Richard was a serious man, dedicated to rigorous science and careful methodology. He would tell her to document everything, to be certain before making any claims. But Elena was certain, and that certainty frightened her. The door to the laboratory opened with a soft hiss. Elena turned to see drive. James Foster entering, his coat covered in fresh snow. James was the station's geologist, a quiet man in his fifties with kind eyes and a patient demeanor. He stamped his feet on the mat and looked at her with concern. Elena, he said gently. It's past midnight. You should rest. I can't, she replied, her voice barely above a whisper. James, I need to show you something. He approached slowly, reading the tension in her posture. Elena led him to her workstation and pulled up the images on the screen. She showed him the patterns, the repeating sequences, the impossibility of what lay before them. James studied the data in silence, his expression growing more serious with each passing minute. How deep was this sample extracted from? He asked finally. 42,000 years, Elena said. Give or take a millennium. James leaned back in his chair. He removed his glasses and cleaned them with the edge of his shirt, a habit Elena had learned meant he was thinking deeply about something. When he spoke again, his voice was measured and calm. You understand what you're suggesting, he said. It was not a question. I know how it sounds, Elena replied. Believe me, I know. But James, I've checked everything. Multiple times. These patterns are not natural. They were made, created, placed there intentionally. By whom? James asked. 42,000 years ago, there were no advanced civilizations. No technology capable of this kind of precision. That's exactly the problem, Elena said, feeling a weight settle in her chest. Nothing we know about human history accounts for this. They sat together in silence, the rain continuing its soft percussion against the windows. Elena felt the enormity of the moment pressing down on her. If she was right, if these patterns were truly artificial, then everything humanity believed about its own history was incomplete. Or worse, wrong. James stood and walked to the window where Elena had been standing earlier. He gazed out into the darkness for a long time before speaking. There's something I need to tell you, he said slowly. 
Something I probably should have mentioned when you first started finding these anomalies. Alina's heart quickened. What do you mean? James turned to face her. In the dim laboratory light, his features looked older, more weathered. I'm not just here to study geological formations, he said. I was sent here by a small group of researchers who have been investigating similar anomalies at other sites around the world. We've been finding the same patterns, Elena. In ice cores from Greenland. In sediment layers from the ocean floor. In rock formations that predate recorded history. The revelation hit Elena like a physical force. You knew, she whispered. You knew I would find this. We hoped, James corrected gently. We hoped that Austral 2553 would provide more evidence. You see, Elena, you're not uncovering a new theory. You're confirming an old one. A theory that has been quietly investigated for decades by a handful of scientists who were brave enough to question everything we thought we knew. Elena felt her legs weaken. She sat down heavily in her chair. Why didn't you tell me? Because we needed someone with fresh eyes, James explained. Someone who would approach the data without preconceptions. If I had told you what we suspected from the beginning, you might have seen what you expected to see rather than what was actually there. Your independent discovery validates years of careful research. The weight Elena had been carrying began to shift, transforming from burden to purpose. She was not alone in this. There were others who had seen what she had seen, who had asked the same impossible questions. What does it mean? She asked. These patterns. What are they? James smiled sadly. That's the question we've been trying to answer. Some believe they're a natural phenomenon we simply don't understand yet. Some think they're evidence of a previous advanced civilization that existed before the Ice Age and was lost to history. And some believe they might be something else entirely. Something not of this Earth. Elena felt a chill that had nothing to do with the Antarctic cold. You're talking about, I'm talking about keeping an open mind, James interrupted gently. About following the evidence wherever it leads, no matter how uncomfortable the destination might be. The truth is, Elena, we don't know. But every discovery like yours brings us closer to understanding. They talked through the night, James sharing decades of collected research while Elena contributed her own findings. As dawn began to break over the frozen landscape, painting the ice in shades of pink and gold, Elena felt something she had not felt in weeks. Hope. The mystery was not solved. Perhaps it would never be fully solved in her lifetime. But she was part of something larger now, a quiet revolution in human understanding. The patterns in the ice were real. The questions they raised were valid. And somewhere, buried in the frozen depths of time, lay answers that would change everything. As the sun climbed higher, bathing the research station in pale light, Elena saved her work and finally allowed herself to rest. The rain had stopped. The long Antarctic day stretched ahead. And for the first time since arriving at Austral 2553, Elena felt truly awake. The truth was out there, waiting patiently in the ice. And she would help uncover it, one careful discovery at a time. No matter how long it took. No matter where it led. Because that was what scientists did. They asked questions. They sought truth. And they never, ever stopped looking for answers. In the quiet of the laboratory, surrounded by evidence of mysteries that spanned millennia, drive. Elena Matthews smiled. The journey was just beginning.